Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Eleanor Toplinski. I'm a board certified medical oncologist and September is Gynecologic Cancer Awareness Month. So let's continue to talk about ovarian cancer. I want to talk a little bit about some of the signs and symptoms that people may present with. It's a little bit challenging because there is no good screening program for ovarian cancer. And many of the symptoms that I'm gonna talk about do not show up until the cancer is at a stage three or stage four. Very early stage ovarian cancer very often does not have any symptoms and typically is picked up when people are getting imaging for some other reason. The other challenge is that a lot of these symptoms are often attributed to other conditions. So what may people present with? Sometimes people develop abdominal bloating or distension, feeling full after eating, or not being able to eat as much as they normally do because they feel full. That's called early satiety. People may experience changes in their bowel habits or bowel patterns bowel movements, they may experience constipation, sometimes diarrhea, they may have shortness of breath, they may feel fatigued. And as you can see, these, sometimes these symptoms can be vague and are often attributed to conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome, heartburn, or other things. Uh, however, if you are presenting with these symptoms and ovarian cancer is suspected, or something is you know concerning enough, then your doctor will typically order imaging. That may be an abdominal pelvic ultrasound, that may be a CAT scan of the abdomen and pelvis. If you're having shortness of breath, they may start with an X-ray or a CAT scan of the chest. Again, a lot of that depends on what constellation of symptoms someone is presenting with. Um, and if a malignancy cancer is suspected, then we may often order a tumor marker called CA125, which while can be elevated in non-cancerous conditions is often elevated in ovarian cancer. If any of those tests come back abnormal, typically the next step, um, and abnormal and concerning for a gynecologic malignancy, then the next step is often referral to a gynecologic oncologist who will take it from there in terms of the diagnostic workup. And I will talk about that in my next video, so come back for that. But in the meantime, let me know what other questions you have about ovarian cancer, gynecologic cancer in general, and I'm happy to answer them.